So we know two things about the Spider-Man 4 movie. Number one, that the story of this movie is going to be a multiversal level story, not a street level story. So that's the number one. And number two, the rumor title of this movie is Spider-Man King in Black, which is actually a huge reference to one of the main villains of this movie. And it is going to be none other than the villain that we are going to see in the Venom 3 movie, which is just about to release. And yeah, you guessed it right. The villain is going to be Null. And therefore, this movie is going to be a multiversal story. Having said all of this, we still have four to five more details to discuss about this movie and which will which will really give us a very comprehensive idea about what this movie, Spider-Man 4, is going to be all about. Number one, the director and the release date of this movie. The director of this movie is going to be Destin Daniel Creighton and it's not going to be John Watts. The first three movies were directed by John Watts but the fourth movie will be directed by Destin Daniel Creighton and the movie is supposed to start filming from the month of March of 2025 that means next year and the movie's filming is supposed to go on till the month of October and the rumored release date of this movie is around the month of July in the year 2026 and interestingly that also means that this movie is going to release between the movies Avengers Doomsday and the movie Avengers Secret Wars and the fact that this movie is going to release between Avengers Doomsday and Avengers Secret Wars there is also a very important character perhaps the most important character who might make an appearance in this movie too who is that we'll discuss about that later point number two is about the Venom 3 movie Venom 3 or Venom the Last Dance is going to release next week and there are some reports that some last minute reshoots took place for Venom 3 movie and the reshoots actually included the entry of Eddie in the Earth 616 that means RMCU. Now this actually happened at the end of Spider-Man No Way Home movie as well but anyways we are not going to talk about that because we are hoping to get an answer to that specific scene in the third Venom movie but if I talk about the reshoots, those reshoots were apparently to bring Tom Hardy's Eddie into our world into our MCU and this also begs a very important question. If Eddie is coming here, of course Venom is going to come here but will our Tom Holland turn into the Venom Spider-Man donning the Venom suit or Venom and Spider-Man will team up and fight another big villain and yeah the second possibility is the most likely possibility according to some sources because some sources claim that in this movie Spider-Man and Venom will actually team up to fight against Null. That's a pretty big thing. Now like I said before that this movie is set to release between the movies of Doomsday and Secret Wars. This movie is, is very likely to be a multiversal movie and it is going to be a multiversal movie but on top of that Doctor Doom may appear in this movie as well and according to some sources Robert Downey Jr's Doctor Doom will have a bigger relationship with Tom Hardy's Spider-Man and in fact when this news actually broke about Doctor Doom will be played by Robert Downey Jr. I in fact went on to my community tab and discussed a theory that I thought would be really good and that is the face off of Spider-Man and Doctor Doom because Tom Holland Spider-Man will see first time that what Doctor Doom looks like and when he sees that Doctor Doom actually looks like Tony Stark, his mentor, Tom Holland's Peter Parker will have a huge trauma and that relationship is I think going to be explored more in this movie as well. At least it will be touched upon and therefore Doctor Doom may appear in this movie as well. Now let's talk about some returning characters and some new villains. So Michael Keaton's Vulture is actually going to return in this movie along with MJ. But hold on, there's going to be another female lead in this movie and apparently that female lead may not be Black Cat. Well, that's interesting. So... Another female lead, maybe Gwen Stacy makes an appearance here. Hmm. The last point we have to discuss is about the involvement of Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man. Yeah, Spider-Man No Way Home, Spider-Man 3 was all about this multiversal thing and, and in this movie as well, they are expected to have an extended role. And if sources are to be believed, Andrew Garfield's Peter Parker will actually have a major role in Avengers Secret Wars as well. So this is all that we know majorly about the Spider-Man 4 movie currently and let me tell you these are all rumors, nothing is set in stone, these are all rumors but many of the rumors actually come true. So do tell me in the comments what do you think about all of these things and if you have anything more to add you can definitely type that in the comments below and as always thank you so much for watching.